In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods pulled apart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Class Warrior eighty seven playthrough of Dark Souls PC edition or prepare to die edition whatever you want to call it yes um, indeed this is the moment we've been the waiting for all this time the undead. i will be providing a full playthrough of the game including the new content when i get to it and in this land the undead are corralled and led to the north Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
Now it is about 7 a.m. here. Um, I basically, I, I, I need to go to work in less than an hour. I have 50 minutes to play. So let's get started. First things first. It looks very much the same as the uh, as the Xbox or 360 version of the game. Uh, I, unlike some people, I'm not complaining about this fact because I like how it looks. And well, I'd rather they made new content than focused on making fancy graphics. Dark Souls has never been about fancy graphics, although the visuals are fantastic. Um, I've seen people crying about Dark Souls PC edition graphics and I have to say these people really need to grow up. I know PC users want to have fantastic, um, amazing graphics of all the games and stuff, but I mean seriously, core gameplay will uh, trump uh, graphics any day and Dark Souls is all about the gameplay. It's not to say that the visuals aren't astounding or that the graphics are bad, okay? I mean, you can see right here, that looks good. Uh, I will probably rush through a lot of the this, and I may look, make a lot of it look quite easy, perhaps easier than it is. I am a Dark Souls veteran. Yeah, complete. I got a thousand G on the Xbox edition, um, pretty much like uh, earlier this year. So, like I said, chances are I will make this look easy. But when I get to the new content, it won't look so easy. Uh, I've started a warrior class for this because this is, there is a specific uh, build and certain equipment that I want to I want to have. I'm not going to talk about that yet, though. I'll leave it. Um, I'll leave it to show itself later when I'm playing and I have the equipment that I want. But I will be recording this entire playthrough. I will not miss a thing. And if I do miss anything, I will be to save time. The only thing I may cut out is loading screens. But I'm not even sure oh, if I can be bothered to do thank that. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. I'll try not to skip any dialogue and cutscenes as well, but sorry if I do. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Perhaps there's some uh, graphical settings I could change here. I'm not sure about this motion blur. Don't think I need that. Oh, I'm not sure about an aliasing actually. Um, mm, actually, no, I'll, de <laughs> I'll definitely have the anti aliasing. And I am playing with an Xbox controller here, there's absolutely no way I'm going to even attempt to play with a mouse and keyboard. It would just be insane, to be honest. 
I know it's not not meant to uh, have it so bright, but I'm not really bothered. I'll probably be lowering the quality for the YouTube video anyway, so um, it's best if I have it a bit light. here. I'll probably show you where a lot of uh, certain items are and stuff and things are hidden. Uh, I'll try to cover as many things as I can. I want this to be a good playthrough, not not some rushed sort of thing just, just to show you the new content. Uh, I don't want to do that. Because the thing is I always wanted to record uh, I always wanted to record from the Xbox but I never had the, uh, the equipment or anything to be able to do that. So now that it's finally out on the PC, this is Only what I've been waiting for. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Now I actually have no idea where the new areas are. I mean I'm guessing there's somewhere around Darkroot Garden, Darkroot Basin, something like that. But in all honesty I really don't know. So I'm looking forward to exploring the new areas. Um, I remember the buzz that I got when I explored this game for the first time. And, uh, and how much it really just like it hits you like a freight train basically. It's so much unlike anything I've ever played before. Uh, and I, I'm looking forward to getting that feeling again. Same with Demon Souls. Uh, it's like a lot of similar players played that as well. I will mainly be leveling up um, strength, vitality, endurance. In this game, because well, I am born as a warrior. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I, have I love this guy. That won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. A lot of people, for some reason, when they start the game, they don't see those stairs there, which are actually the, the that's the way to the first area. A lot of people go up here, they go exploring, they go over here, and through that door over there, and they soon find themselves being attacked by skeletons that are way too hard for them, and they end up being killed by these skeletons. Um, you're not meant to go there yet. You can if you want. Uh, there is a covenant you can join down there, but to be honest, at this point in the game, I probably won't be able to make it through that area. It's meant for uh, later in the game. Really. So this is the way that you're meant to go. Ow.
Now, I'm not quite sure how far I'll get uh, with the time I have this morning. I will, re I will be recording more tonight when I get home. Uh, I'll perhaps do another hour, but I also have stuff to do tonight as well. So chances are I'll be playing a lot more this weekend. On Friday now. Uh, once I get in from work, once I've sorted everything out. I will be uh, recording more, but for this morning, I'll just do what I can. And chances are we'll stop in random places just to admire the view, because this is one of those games where the view is great. That was just nothing. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> there appears to be more blood than in the Xbox version. Which is kind of odd. I don't know why they've done that. Not that I'm complaining, but it seems a little strange. Stupid boxes. Well, now. You seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's a nutcase. Um, I will buy an orange soapstone. And... Ooh. I'll take a spear. And a short bow. Oh, I can't really afford any arrows. I'll eat them. That'll do for hey. now. What? What? What's the matter? <laughs> the characters tend to shout things at you if you run away from them mid-conversation. Um, it's a nice little touch. Something I always liked about the game. First bonfire. I've only really got 20 minutes left in this particular moment, so... I think I'll get through the undead berg and I'll take on the first boss and uh, I'll stop there and then I'll, I'll continue ahead later on tonight when I finish work. I remember how much I struggled coming through here on the first playthrough ever and, and then now I just find it so damn easy. Now it's just, I'm just, this is just a breeze basically, it's really easy. Uh, a lot of people struggle on on this area in the first place, which is, you're getting used to the game, it's not easy, it's a bit of a tough game, um, until you get used to it anyway. But it's very rewarding, when you start to get good at it, you feel it. You feel like a boss, basically. <laughs> yeah, that was me being a smart ass and trying to parry attacks. Don't do that if you're not good at it, because it will get you killed. Oops. I didn't even mean to do that there. Uh, Find spaces aren't much fun when you need to swing a sword around. Oh, that was 
can fall off the edge there. I have to say, I'm doing quite badly here. That didn't look good. Um, this is one of those games where everywhere you can see is somewhere that you're going to go. So this bridge up here is basically my destination. Uh, the big church up the other side of it. Can't really see it from here, but it's kind of behind that big tower over there. There's a church up there. That's where I need to go, basically. But of course it's not as simple as just going there, you've got to find your way. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Nice. God. Sometimes it's easier to just kick enemies down holes or off bridges or whatever. Or sometimes it's just more fun. That's a. Uh, I actually picked the master key at the start of the game so I can open certain doors and shortcuts and stuff early on. Uh, that is a shortcut down there, but it's basically a way to not need to kill the first boss. But you don't. Like I, I'm not going to go down there because there's a. Uh, there's a guy down there who's pretty tough and will kill me at this point in the game. Actually, chances are I'll still have another 10 minutes spare after I've done this first boss, so maybe I'll maybe I'll get to the other side of the bridge, the Dragon Bridge, before I uh, stop playing today or this morning. Starting to rush a little bit here. That's why I keep getting hit. It's not because, uh, not because I suck at the game. Although, believe what you want. Really. Oh crap! Totally forgot about that there. I was like so busy admiring the view. Hopefully I won't get hit. Knocked off the edge there. Sorry, as he jumps off the edge himself. He's, uh, I've never seen it happen, but I've seen it happen in videos on YouTube and such like. That's my chance to get up the ladder and get another cheap plunge.
Oh yes, apologies, I may swear from time to time. This is YouTube though, so I don't think it's a problem. And then again, who cares if I swear this is a violent video game. There's worse things going on in my language. You'll notice that I'm going two-handed to increase the air attack power I have. You know, if you use your weapon in two hands, it increases your attack power and increases your defense. It's good on certain bosses and it's good against certain enemies, particularly enemies that don't that, uh, that you can avoid basically. If you can avoid their attacks, then it's worth uh, going two-handed. Uh, that was not a good example. Uh, this guy's kicking my ass now. Uh, For some reason that was actually harder than I expected it to be. I've done it like a million times. And it's never hard. <laughs> but, whatever. I'm going with a spear, but uh, for this character I will be using spears. I have a particular spear in mind ah, to have hello. Uh, you don't look hollow. towards Welcome. the end of the game. Well, not towards the end, but of Astoria, you know, and a bit later. Of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> this is a nice view up here, just looking down upon the clouds. You start to get a, uh, some impression of what the game world's oh. actually like. Uh, I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Oh, oh no, crap, I, was I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, I'll just talk to him again, hopefully. Oh, hello. You're still keen on speaking to me. Then perhaps you have You want to watch alpha. watch out for people asking you questions in conversations because if they ask the questions, there's a chance that you may have to make a choice. And later on, there's certain NPCs who, if you make the wrong choice, they may never speak to you again. So that may say? stop you from joining covenants or getting certain human? items. I don't know. Can't think of any good examples off the top of my head. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Uh, that's it. that's the item you need for uh, putting the summon land. sign down for other the people to summon you. Not sure the how the PC edition works with, uh, with regards to summoning. I'm guessing it still works the same, but I think there may be new PvP matchmaking options. To summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds. I like how the whole uh, jolly cooperation. Yes, jolly cooperation. Not the only ones engaged in this, I like how the multiplayer on this is sort of really of well integrated into the game. Spot uh, my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. Yeah, basically it you can summon this guy to help you with certain huh. bosses in the game, and if you complete his quest line properly, you can get him. To s you can summon him to help you on the last boss as well. Um, this bit is just such a trap. Uh, I'm naked, yes, that's right. Um, and I'm ugly. But that's okay. The reason I'm naked is because the less equipment you're wearing, the faster you run. Which will afford me the opportunity to make it across here before I get through the life. Oh, I got hurt, but I'm just made it Survival blast there. It would have killed me straight away otherwise. My arm back on now. Now, just open up my shortcut. A lot of people don't seem to realise you can slide down ladders. You just press B to do that. Oh, 
Now I know before anybody says it, I know somebody will say it. Uh, oh, why don't you get the Drake Sword? I'm not going to get the Drake Sword. Okay, um, it's too overpowered. I feel it ruins the game at this point. So I'm not going to be getting it. Okay, I will leave it. In fact, I'm not going that way, so I don't know why I even bothered. But I'm not getting the Drake Sword, basically. No matter what anyone says. I think it ruins the game. It makes the game too easy. Definitely something I want. Yeah, claymore. There we go. It's a good two-handed sword. Um, I'm going to stop playing now because I really need to get ready for work. Uh, I'll level up a little bit, and part two will come later. It may be a while before these. Uh, this is actually the first day of release, by the way, but it may be a while before. I actually upload the videos because it takes a while to get them all rendered and uploaded and everything. But I'll do it when I can. And, well, basically, I will see you next time.